Hello and welcome to an unboxing of the EVGA 450 watt power supply that is bronze certified and is part of the B1 series. I'm just going to show you the writings on the box, which you should expect when buying this. Um, and yeah, here you go. Um, you could just read that because I'm not going to read all of that out. I've got to focus. Yep. Another back. They're all in different languages, I'm going to show English, obviously. There you read that, that's what it comes with. And if you're not, if you don't speak English, then... You can read these parts. And his specification is uh, 35 amps on the 12 volt rail. Um, and it's 80 plus bronze, so it's, um, it's a good... A decent power supply for a, a budget build, which I'm, I am going to do with this build. I'm going to open it up now and show you exactly what comes with it. Usually, in my experience, power supplies are pretty um, generous in accessories from whiteboard. If I can actually get this open. Oh, I actually took this off first time because it's actually a lot easier to read now. Yeah, it doesn't have that sort of glare anymore. Um, I'm just gonna take this part out. Yeah, screw that and just take it off. Okay, there we go. Okay, first up that says, just a manual showing you, uh, what is this section? Oh, it just tells you about this specific model as well as um, the same uh, series but in different wattages. And tells you information about it, and again in different languages, in German and French and uh, some other, a few other languages as well. Here is the actual pass by itself. It's pretty heavy, as expected. Mm, okay, yeah, of course the power supply to the power supply from the socket. So you obviously need this for it to work. <clears throat> yep. Got that. And now is the actual power supply itself. I should put that aside. There's nothing else in there at all. Oops. So I'm just going to that. There's um. There's this that I actually got as well. Uh, I remember I had a. I bought the same one but 500 watt a couple of years ago for my brother's build. Um, I think this is just pretty much just to turn on the power supply individually without without having you to connect it to a power, to a computer or anything. If you just wanted to connect the power supply individually, just the power supply on its own, then you pretty much just like it's in the manual somewhere. But you put uh, one of these pins in some other ports and then you turn it on and apparently that shorts out um, and then it just turns on the power supply itself it just you don't even have it you don't need it to have it connected to a computer or anything it just simply turns on by itself and just leave it running and just well it's just running pretty much <laughs> yeah okay that's all yeah and now it's the actual power supply itself a little bit easier for you to see there we go it's much easier to see Yep, it's pretty heavy, which is uh, usually an indicator that it's in good quality. Usually, if it's light, it's an indicator that it may be cheap. Not always, but sometimes it is. Here's the uh, specifications of it. I'm gonna let you read that. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a um, single. They advertise it as ultra quiet on the box, so it's. it's uh, I'm hoping it's quiet. After all, it's EVGA, so they make. There's a pretty good brand. They make pretty good power supplies, so you shouldn't really have an issue with these sort of power supplies. I'm going to show you exactly all of the cables that comes with it. You can clearly see that it's non-modular. It's completely all of the wires that you need. So 
I recommend you getting a, a good case with with a uh, plenty of cable management space for this because it pretty much just is spaghetti right here. Okay, let's just start off. Right. Okay, one of the parts, one of the cables, three SATA cables all connected to each other like this, which is a. Uh, useful when you have uh, hard drives or and SSDs like this on the side of the case and you could just sort of connect them like that and like that this so like this one's going to the SSD this one's going to the hard drive and then this one going to the optical drive if you have one so it's useful because the case will be like this that's kind of helpful what else okay so this is the one I just checked um, more of them exactly the same thing so you've got six SATA cable, uh, ports, pretty much. Six SATA cables coming out of it. It's exactly identical to the other one I just showed you. I think this is going to be another... Oh no. These are two Molex cables. Two Molex. Three. Three Molex, sorry. Three Molex. And um, this is actually a floppy disk connector. I highly doubt you would use these these days because they're practically ancient technology but it's there if you ever have one there's one floppy power connector floppy disk type power connector um, which one is this I do believe this is the wait a minute yeah okay yeah these are for the graphics cards or graphics card if you have two of them um, yep two six pin power connectors that can also be put together as eight. Let it focus. There you go. Six power connectors, um, six pin power connectors, and you can put them together to make uh, an eight power connector. So you've got two of them pretty much if your power supply, if your graphics card requires that much energy. Of course, the 20, 20 plus four pin uh, motherboard connector for your motherboard, obviously. And finally, the uh, CPU power connector and it's you connect them just by one you can use either of these two ones if it's just uh, one come on focus <laughs> there you go yeah you can you can use either of these two it's fine um, and you can just if it's an 8 pin power connector from the CPU you just put them like that and put them together I'm just going to quickly get a ruler to show you exactly how long the cables are just bear me for a second. Okay, let's get... show you exactly how long these cables are. If you're gonna go into that much detail, well, this is a real pain. I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly how long it is because th these cables are just too damn. Alright, so 37 means there, plus 20, I'm just going to give it a rough, it's about 55 centimeters pretty much. It is about 55, so starting from there, 30, uh, and it, when you stretch, I mean it doesn't show it now, but if you stretch it out, you go up to like 25 or even 30, so it's about, um, it's about 50 to 60 centimeters long, pretty much. Pretty sure it's going to be 60 if you stretch it all the way out. Yeah, yeah. So it's about 55 to 60 centimeters long. Uh, yeah, that's kind of all there is to show about it. So yeah, power supply, power cable, uh, a jumper. If you want to just like sort of turn the power supply itself on. Um, a user manual, and that's literally it, really. Uh, thank you for watching, and hope this will help out if you're going to buy one of these for your build or whatever. Thank you very much for watching.